Protesters have drawn encouragement in certain Democratic-led states from tweets by President Trump, who has also said he favors a quick return to normal, though protests have also taken place in Republican-led states like New Hampshire and Texas. The U.S. has seen more coronavirus cases and deaths than any other country in the world, with more than 718,000 confirmed infections and 37,700 fatalities as of Saturday afternoon. Now, the vast majority of Americans are under lockdown orders, restricting public movement and keeping all but essential businesses closed. I really think some of the governors have gotten carried away. That is according to U.S. President Donald Trump at a White House news conference appearing to back the protests against coronavirus-related lockdowns that took place in several cities across the country. President Trump also welcomed the reopening of some businesses in Texas and Vermont on Monday while still requiring appropriate social distancing precautions against... Again, let's listen in. So when the fake news gets out there and they start talking about the United States as number one, but we're not number one, China's number one, just so you understand. China's number one by a lot. It's not even close. They're way ahead of us in terms of death. It's not even close. You know it. I know it. They know it. But you don't want to report it. Since we released the guidelines to open up America again, and this was two days ago, a number of states led by both Democrat and Republican governors have announced concrete steps to begin a safe, gradual, and phased opening. Texas and Vermont will allow certain businesses to open on Monday while still requiring appropriate social distancing precautions. Moving along well, this should not be a partisan witch hunt, you know, like the Russia witch hunt that turned out to be a total phony deal. Unfortunately, some of these uh, voices, though, are attempting to, to bring this into politics. And uh, whether it's testing or ventilators or hospital beds or other dimensions of our sweeping public health response, we have had a sweeping response, is the ventilators. And now we're the king of ventilators. We have ventilators. We're going to be helping other countries very soon. We're going to be helping Mexico. I spoke with the president of Mexico. He's great, great guy. And uh, I told him we're going to be helping him. They desperately in Mexico need ventilators. And I told him we're going to be helping. Guidelines? I don't know. I mean, I notice uh, there are a lot of protests out there. And uh, I, I just think that some of the governors have gotten carried away. You know, you have a lot of people that don't have to be told to do what they're doing. They've been really uh, doing everything we've asked. And we have a few states where, frankly, uh, I spoke to the governors. And I could have gotten them to do if I wanted to do what uh, would have been perhaps politically correct. But they'd been doing incredibly anyway. And as one of them said, everybody's doing exactly the same. And so you can see our case fatality rate is about half to a third of many of the other countries. And, excuse and, me, does anybody really believe this number? Does anybody really believe this I, number? I put China on there so you could see how basically unrealistic this could be. Um, when highly developed healthcare delivery systems of the United Kingdom and France and Belgium and Italy and Spain with extraordinary doctors and nurses and equipment have case fatality rates in the 20s up to 45 and Belgium is extraordinary. New Zealand will ease a nationwide coronavirus lockdown next week after claiming success in stopping an uncontrolled explosion of the disease that is according to the Prime Minister, Asinda Ardern. She also said New Zealand would move its maximum level 4 COVID-19 alert to level 3 from late evening on Monday of April 27 and remain there for two weeks to assess the situation. Again, let's listen in. Right. That is the number of cases that each person with the virus passes it on to is now 0.48 less than half a person each. Overseas, the average is 2.5 people. We have amongst the lowest number of confirmed cases per 100,000 people in the world. We have a relatively low proportion of serious cases. And according to the Oxford University Coronavirus Government Response Tracker, one of the lowest mortality rates in the world. 
Nearly every case identified since April 1 is primarily as a result of overseas travel or contact with someone with a team of 5 million has broken the chain of transmission virus. Elimination doesn't mean zero cases. It means zero to one week from today. We will then hold 